Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video as you've seen from the title is kind of strange. It's a story time slash get ready with me and I'm going to be talking about paranormal activity that I've experienced in my short 18 years. But yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to talk about because I recently discovered that my house is haunted. The noises that I hear, maybe they are just strange coincidences. But I genuinely do think my house is haunted and I thought I'd make a YouTube video about it um, because people have been requesting that I do at least a story time and I thought I'd also get ready whilst I do this story time. But the thing is, I'm really bad at multitasking so maybe the get ready thing uh, will be difficult for me because I will always lose track of what I'm like saying if I'm doing something that I have to concentrate on. But I've got my mirror here, my makeup is just below me. And yeah, let's get into it. Also, just a quick disclaimer, if you are really young and you are easily afraid of things, please don't watch this video. I don't want to give you nightmares, but um, just so you know, I, I'm not lying. None of the things I'm saying is lies. I have evidence of um, some things as well, but I'm just going to tell you guys some stories about things that I've experienced. So I thought I would do it in the style that like I tell you guys a few stories and then I also insert like some of the paranormal things I've caught on camera. I think all of the videos I have that's evidence is just like recordings of like noises and banging um, that I've heard and I've recorded it. So I'm just going to insert those in, but I'm going to tell you guys some stories that um, some of them are related to my house and some of them aren't because the experiences that I've had are not always at my house Like I've experienced a lot of things like growing up. I've always believed in this type of stuff I don't know why but um, I always kind of have believed in it and I used to always get like experiences I feel like if you believe in it you kind of experience more um, I've heard that if you believe in spirits then they have the power to um, infiltrate your life and that sounds kind of weird, but so if you don't believe in it, then that's probably why you haven't experienced anything. But I personally have always believed in it, so I guess I was kind of always looking for trouble. I don't know. I'm going to start with one of my first experiences with um, ghosts. I guess you could say ghosts. I don't really know what it was, but it was just a weird coincidence. And even if it's just a weird coincidence, this is an interesting story. So my dad used to date a woman. Let's call her Jay. Um, when my, I don't really live with my dad, but when I do see him, like... I see him sometimes and like at the time I was seeing him on weekends uh, I was like probably about 10 or 9 years old at this time and um he was dating a woman called Jay and she lived in an old Victorian style mansion house up north and I went to her house once with my sister and my dad would tell me her house was haunted and like I was like literally a kid, so I don't know why he was telling me that, but I was never really scared of it. As a kid, I was always quite interested. And my sister Izzy never believed in this kind of stuff, but I did. And I don't know why, but I requested that we did a seance. That sounds so strange, but I really did request as a child that we do a seance and like try and summon and communicate with the spirits, which is not a good idea, especially if you have a haunted house or you believe that your house is haunted this is a this is a quote from insidious but if you speak to a spirit then they all listen so like that's what i don't know why i decided i was like can we do a sale i'm such an idiot but anyway so my stepmom at the stepmom at the time the my dad's girlfriend jay she started talking to the spirits and saying stuff like if you hear bang twice and like yes is like one knock and no is two knocks or whatever and um we did that and nothing was happening literally nothing was happening and i was like oh this is kind of boring and then my dad like knocked on the table to try and scare my little sister and i was like all right well i'm over it guys you're not taking it seriously and i just left the room and i went to the bathroom and i thought it was done boy was i wrong because as soon as i left this house was so big and all of the doors were really heavy and i had a problem with locking doors as a child i was afraid of a lot of things i was afraid of being in lifts i was afraid of escalators i was afraid of being in locked doors i was scared of the dark i still am scared of the dark i still have to sleep with the light on in the hallway so i was terrified of locking doors these doors would get stuck the hinges were like really rickety and old and like they would creak and like they would get stuck and they were really heavy and i wouldn't lock them right just remember I wouldn't lock the doors. So... I'm 
don't know if you can hear that, but there's nobody home and I'm already hearing footsteps outside. Just so you know. So I left the door like this much open and I went to the toilet and then I went to wash my hands. Like I got up from the toilet after doing my little wee wee, washed my hands and the door was locked and bolted shut. And I was screaming, guys. I was terrified. I was like panicked as hell because I don't lock doors. I never even shut doors as a kid. I was too scared that it would get stuck, especially these big old doors. And I would never lock it. So I was like... Who the hell is locking me in the bathroom? So I was panicking and I was trying to push it in the door. The um the bolt was really rusty and old and it wouldn't open. And I started screaming and crying and my dad had to come get me. But that was the first proper experience that I had. My dad tried to tell me it was just the wind so that I wouldn't be freaked out. But Jay was literally like, No, it was probably the spirits. You know, they were just wanting to contact you. And I was like, Okay. But yeah, that was my first proper experience. It wasn't in my house, but that's like what triggered me to start believing in ghosts. And already, I don't know if you can hear, but there is literally someone walking outside my room. No one is home. My mom is out. Ever since then, I would have like these weird reoccurring dreams about ghosts and about spirits in this house. Um, and when I was, so this is where I'm gonna get into the dream stuff. I believe that dreams can sometimes predict like what you're worrying about and what you're thinking about are like projected into your dreams. Does that make sense? Because it's what you're subconsciously thinking of. And I would always have weird dreams about ghosts. Because of this experience, I was always a believer in it. And yeah, I would have dreams about it. I'd have dreams about spirits in my house. I remember one specific dream. So it was summertime and it was in this house. I've lived in this house for about 10 years. So I was in this house with my mom and my sister. That's who I live with. Um, my sister doesn't live here anymore so it's just me and my mom but like, do you like my Donald Trump toilet paper? Yes. We had a boiler in my old room. I, I moved to this room but it was in my old room that we couldn't sleep in that room during the summer because it was really really hot and we couldn't sleep. Me and my sister struggled to sleep because the boiler was in that room and it was making the room really humid and uncomfortable. So my mom would let us sleep on the floor or in her bed. And at this time I slept on the floor. My sister slept in the bed with my mom and I slept on the floor here, literally where I'm sat right now. I was sleeping here and I had the strangest dream. Now it was such an odd dream. I was literally in the bedroom. I was in this room watching myself sleeping. That sounds so weird, but I was literally dreaming about myself, like dreaming a dream. And I remember sitting up, and it was like an out-of-body experience, like, and I was probably only about 11 years old at the time. But I remember looking down and seeing myself on the floor, right here, asleep. And I remember seeing my mom and my sister in bed, sleeping too. And it was dark. It was really dark. All of a sudden, in my dream, I heard loud booming, like, loud walking up the steps. And as I said, my house is really creaky. You can hear, like everything if you're walking around in the house i'ma hear it so i was hearing footsteps walking up the stairs even though i was dreaming i was like who is coming upstairs like we don't have anyone else that lives here with us so like who the hell is this and the the steps kept getting louder and louder like it was coming towards me i remember being like oh my god i'm so scared but like just kind of freezing and standing and just watching over my, my watching over my mom and my sister and watching over myself in comes my nan and my granddad and my nan and my granddad are not like passed away. Um, so like that was really weird that I just saw them, but they were ghosts. It was an old woman and it was an old man. I, I perceived them to be my granddad and my grandma, but they weren't like, I don't think they actually were because my, my grandparents are not dead. Well, they weren't at the time anyway. My, my nan unfortunately did pass away um, about a year after this. It was really weird because I blinked and I was awake and I was standing up and it was daylight and my mom and my sister were not in the room. They were downstairs. It was about nine, but it was just weird how I was standing up and it was the day and I just felt like I'd blinked. And it was just so strange. It was just the weirdest dream ever. And around that time I was sleepwalking and sleep talking. So I just kind of like passed it off as like, maybe I would slept walked and then something woke me up and then it just felt weird because you know, you're not supposed to wake people up when they sleepwalk or whatever, but um, Around that time after that dream, I would have a lot of dreams about these old people um, that, that were like living with us, but it didn't make sense because we didn't live with anyone else. It was just me, my mom and my sister. 
And then I researched it and there was an old woman and an old man that used to live in this house. Um, and the old woman died here. So that is creepy. My mum told me recently actually there was an old woman that died in this house a couple years ago. And we still get her mail. We still get, I'm not going to release her name, but we still get her mail. Um, she liked number seven. <laughs> But yeah, that was just like the strangest thing to like know that there was an old woman and an old man here. But I don't understand why the old man was in the dream because I don't believe that he died in this house. But I do know that an old woman died in this house. Um, but yeah, I didn't I didn't know that until recently. So at the time I just thought like, oh, it was just like a weird dream and maybe I was just sleepwalking and you know, no, no, no. But after that, I would have a lot of dreams that were quite similar. So I would always dream about um, people living in this house, especially an old woman. But as I said, I didn't know that an old woman had died here. I'm not sure if I believe it is her ghost. That kind of seems a bit cliche. But like, it is strange. It is a bit of a strange coincidence. My mum actually got really worried and was like thinking of sending me to like a child psychiatrist or something. Because your girl was freaking out a lot and I was always having dreams. I also, one time, I slept walk. Um, I sleepwalked. And I, um, I walked downstairs and turned every single light on in the house. And I would do that at my dad's house as well. I mean, my, obviously my parents aren't together, but I would go to his house and do the same thing. And I would just walk around, like, turning the lights on in the house from, I guess, from subconsciously being afraid of the dark. But I was sleeping. But yeah, I'm going to insert a couple of my first ever um, on-camera court clips of tapping and you guys can be the judge of it. But this is one of the first ones. I believe this one's going to be on Snapchat, but it was one of the first ones I caught where I just heard tapping why? Every time I start filming, you don't want to tap. You're either tapping, right? I don't know what it is, but I don't know. This, ha this has been happening for, like, three weeks now. And I've been away. And, like, I haven't had any tapping or anything. And then I go to my bedroom. I come home. And I go to my bedroom. And I hear tapping. And I'm like, great. I go downstairs and tapping is following me downstairs. What is it? Did you miss me? Yo. And I think I was talking to it. I think I was talking to it this time because I heard it before. And I was like, come on, stop playing with me. Did you miss me? I was away, right? You're playing with me, like da da da. And it was like banging, like back, responding to me. I mean, that was that was that was weird, right? Like that we that is a weird video. That is strange. And a lot of the activity happens in my bathroom and in my hallway, and that was in my bathroom. I was actually on the toilet. It's like it knows that I'm vulnerable. Whatever it is, it's like, yeah. She's on the toilet right now, let's get her. I need a new foundation. This one's so yellow for my skin, but I really don't know like what other colours, like what other shade I am. I have to mix this really pale one just to try and help, but like it doesn't really do much. So this next story is one of the strangest stories, and I've told this story to a lot of people, um, but this was from when I was about 13 or 14, and it was one of the first experiences in this house that really did scare the hajibis, projibis, fajibis, I don't know what it is, I don't know the word, but it scared me a lot. I promise you this is 100% real, and this did really scare me, and it does still really scare me to talk about this, because it just isn't really that cute. This was when I was quite young as well, so I was like 13. And um, I'm aware that my foundation is not a complete match. Okay, don't believe me. I, as I said, would sleepwalk and sleep talk a lot, but I would also have those strange dreams. I woke up from one of those bad dreams once and I heard banging in my living room slash kitchen downstairs. We usually would just be like, oh, I'm dismissing this. I am gonna go up to sleep and hide under my covers because I'm scared. But for some reason, I was not scared. I was actually not scared at all. And I think it's because I did believe it was my mom downstairs. Um, it was around Christmas time that this happened. So I believe that I thought it was probably like, it was just like the morning and it was dark outside because obviously in the UK, it gets dark in the mornings and it like gets light around like nine or 10. So I thought, well, my mom was just making some hot chocolate for us and we're about to go to school and it's about to be like a normal day. I just got out of bed and I walked downstairs. It was completely dark. And I don't know why, because I'm so scared of the dark, but I wasn't scared. I didn't want to turn the lights on. I didn't really care. I think it was because I thought my mom was downstairs. So I just thought, well, I'm only going to be in the dark for like five seconds. I'm only going to be in the dark for like a minute. I'm going to be with my mom. I walked downstairs. I walked into my living room. Um, and again, it was completely dark. And I just saw my mom. Just saw my mom standing there, like right by the door. She was just staring, just staring up 
like and I was smaller than her so I was like not and I was like mom like mom I just had a bang I was like mom like mom why are you not talking to me like mom why because she was ignoring me she was just like literally staring up like into space like I wasn't there and it was upsetting me I was getting upset I was like mom like mom so I went to reach out and I went to grab her and she just disappeared she was not there. It was not my mom. It was just my eyes playing tricks on me or something. It was completely dark. And I know that sometimes when humans think or they want to see something, they see it. And maybe that was the case. But that really, really creeped me out. And now all of a sudden, we are like back to this weird banging and tapping. Um, I'm going to insert a... a I can hear something downstairs. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it sounds like my cupboard doors are being opened. That's the kind of noise I heard in that um, that time when I went downstairs. Like I heard like someone was downstairs, like banging around. I thought it was my mom. I can hear that. That's so creepy. Ugh, I hate that. I hope that you guys can hear it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna sound insane. But um, if you can't hear it, I'm gonna insert what I mean because I actually have a recording of it from my last youtube video which was the witsy vlog right at the end of that video you can literally hear the four loudest bangs in my living room they're so loud and like i'm gonna insert the clip now but it's literally in the outro love and support you guys are amazing i hope everyone has a great christmas and yeah thanks for watching sorry that was the spirit banging on my and you can literally hear, like, you can literally hear that they're in, they're in my house. It's not like it's, it's not like it's from anywhere else. It's like, it's, it's right in my living room. Like, those bangs are from my living room. So, like, that's, like, the kind of noises I mean. Like, just hear banging in the walls. And those are the kind of bangs I mean when I say hear banging. It's, like, really loud. I think that's probably all of the story times that I have. Other than, like, me just constantly hearing noises and stuff. At the moment, that is really all I have in terms of, like, story times that are worth telling. Um, but I've just, like, I'm just gonna insert as many clips of, as I can throughout this video. And see if I can kind of, I guess, prove that I'm not, like, chatting shit. <laughs> because these genuinely are things that I hear. And those are experiences that I have that make me believe believe that what I'm hearing is like a spirit it's not just like me being insane and if it's not a spirit then as something lives in my house and someone's not paying rent like it that is what it is like unless I have a squatter in my attic then there is something going on anyway that is the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed my little spirit reading with you guys, not reading, <laughs> what am I talking about? My little spirit conversation. Please don't think I'm crazy. If you do have any tips or tricks, anything you can do to help me maybe in this situation, because I don't really like the idea of my house being haunted, to be honest. But like, if you guys have anything sim um, similar experience wise, or you guys have any kind of like advice for me, or you can like clarify that what I'm saying is not insane, um, I'd appreciate that in the comment section below. But I've tried to include some footage and evidence as well in this video so that I don't sound like I'm talking completely out of my ass because I genuinely do believe that this is true and I have actually had experiences in this house and the stories I'm telling you are 100% real. Thank you for watching my story. Excuse the fact that my hair is still wet. I also just did my makeup, kind of catfished you all, haha. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe. I hope that I've put enough evidence in. I've tried to find as many videos as I could as proof. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.